Today, we find ourselves amidst heated discussions and controversies revolving around the recent Champions League clash between Manchester United and Copenhagen. Let's delve into the game where a surprising twist left everyone in awe. On Wednesday, Manchester United suffered a 4-3 loss to Copenhagen in a match filled with drama that has sparked a fiery debate in the football world. Three pivotal decisions, all influenced by VAR, video assistant referee, took the spotlight and generated a buzz. But before we explore the aftermath, be sure to hit that subscribe button, activate notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Your support means the world to us and keeps this channel thriving. First, let's discuss the controversial red card for Marcus Rashford in the 42nd minute. Pundits, not known for holding back, labelled it as a disgrace and called for VAR to be completely abandoned. Do you share their sentiments? Let us know in the comments below. Despite Rashford's early exit, United initially dominated, with Rasmus Hodgson netting two goals. However, Copenhagen fought back, scoring two crucial goals just before half-time. The pendulum swung both ways, with a VAR decision favouring United in the 69th minute, allowing Bruno Fernandes to convert a penalty and regain the lead. But wait, there's more. Copenhagen had the last laugh, securing all three points with late goals from Lucas Lur and the 17-year-old sensation, Rooney Barry. It was a nail-biter until the very end. As the dust settles, Manchester United's hopes of advancing to the last 16 in the Champions League have taken a significant hit. Manager Eric Ten Hag attributes the defeat to Rashford's dismissal and expresses frustration over its impact on the game. What are your thoughts on VAR, the red card, and Manchester United's overall performance? Share your opinions in the comments below.